Hi and welcome to Another Legends Plants. In this, the Halloween special, I am here in the town of Garba in County Derry. And no, I'm not here for specifically the village. I'm here for one historical character. That is the tale of Abara, Ireland's first vampire. So, Abarok's grave, or locally known as the Dwarf King's Tomb, is located just a few minutes outside this little town. So in this legend, I am travelling to a much more uncertain location. And unfortunately, there is no exact position on Google Maps or that I could find perfectly online. But I do know it is somewhere on this lane. So I'm hoping that the old rural Irish um, welcomeness is here and I'm going to ask some of the neighbours for directions. Apparently, it's on private land, so hopefully I'll find the farmer as well to give me permission to get on the field. Okay, so I've just gone to one house kind of oldish I decided to pop in and see who they know and apparently they're literally just four years in the area and they haven't even got a clue what the tomb is so okay let's keep going okay so I have just been talking to a local farm owner and he really nice guy and he directed me towards this white house here behind me which is like a gate into a field look around but because of the miserable I don't fancy spending too much time out there rain. But yeah, look for clusters of trees, look for one individual tree and a rock ideally. Okay, I think I found it and I didn't have to ask anybody. There it is. Yes. here so I'm going to move off to somewhere okay so you Game of Thrones fans will recognize where I am I'm at the Dark Hedges and it's actually 40 minutes not even 30 minutes drive from Garva so I decided to come here and talk a little bit about Aberoch just because the setting is spooky and it was just too windy where I was so let's get back to the story week after week until it came to a point where they could no longer tolerate this anymore. So they hired a chieftain, a chieftain, a chieftain, to slay the beast, the beast to slay the king. And after a bit of a battle, he successfully killed the dwarf king and he was murdered. So once the chieftain slayed the dwarf king, a Kaylee or feast was held to commemorate the end of the terror and everybody celebrated throughout the night grateful at this great chieftain who slayed the monster that was haunting them for months. However, the next day, when the 
feast was over and everyone was about to get back to normal, Ibarak returned and again sought blood and terrorised the community. Again the chieftain slayed him, buried him, deep this time, and the following night, the same again, Ibarak kept returning. No matter how often they killed him, he kept returning, seeking blood and seeking revenge. So the chieftain decided he would approach a druid for advice to see what could be done to get rid of this monster. And the druid understood the situation and advised that it wasn't enough to kill Abrock because Abrock was already dead. He was trying to kill the undead or the walking dead and as the chieftain had learned time and time again that was not possible. Abrock was going to continue to rise until he was slain and buried in a ritualistic way that prevented him from rising again. The druid advised the king that the monster or the vampire or the walking dead dead king needed to be slain with a sword forged from a yew tree, yew wood, and he had to be pierced thoroughly, straight through. And not only that, buried in the same place as he was buried before, only this time buried upside down with a large rock placed on top of him and surrounded by thorns. They did this and of course success. They finally slayed the monster. However, the druid warned it was not an ending to Abrock, it was merely a prisoning, a pre and a preventative from rising again. The druid warned that should that rock be moved, or should someone cut down or interfere with that grave in any way, Abrock would return. Centuries later, and Abrock still has not returned. However, the warnings have not stopped some people. For the worst cases where, in an attempt to clear the land, local workers attempted to cut down the tree. However, they found that their chainsaws mysteriously stopped working the minute it went anywhere near the bark. As for the rock, in an attempt to lift it with chains and a digger, the chain snapped as the digger attempted to rise the rock. Today, Abrock's tomb remains untouched in the centre of this field.